just to let y'all know, this is not a step-by-step -step video on how to secure a load. Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to another video. Here's what we're doing, man. I just got loaded, picking up a load here in uh, Wisconsin. I thought it would be a little bit more pieces or a little bit more difficult to secure. I, I, like I said, I've been wanting to show you guys how to secure a load. Thought I was gonna be using chains, but I'm not. In this video, I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you guys how to secure a load and how to tarp. At least how I do it and what's been working for me. You guys can take a few pointers away from it if you choose to. So this is load, I had them loaded to the front. Uh, because dispatcher is gonna look out to get me a partial maybe a vehicle whatever we can fit on the back going down It's hot as hell out here, man So I'm gonna move a little bit quick I'm gonna have my GoPro on so you guys kind of see hands-on what I'm doing and maybe set this camera up somewhere So let's jump into it man, and let's get this thing going So for securing all we need is our winch bar and some corner protectors so i got those out and ready to go and then i'll show you guys what i do to kind of protect my tarp when i'm getting ready to tarp this going Alright guys, so here's what it looks like. I got three over here, which is, uh, you know, could be overkill, but I never trust what they do here with putting their bolts down into the wood. So I just run a strap over the top of this pump, two on the side. For this piece, I ran three straps. The rule, I believe, is you gotta have a strap every 10 feet. Not 100% sure, but I believe that's what it is with DOT standards. So like I said, three straps here, put the corner protectors, I put a piece of carpet up there, wherever I think might be a little sharp for the strap to protect it this was a little funny so i just put a blanket since it was just at a weird angle and everything here is kind of sharp so and i put a twist and a strap probably didn't need it i forgot i'm going to be tarping it so there's not really going to be much wind hitting it because my tarp's going to cover everything that's just a tip i mean to eliminate all that flapping and you know possibly the strap getting loose i've learned that you know putting a twist in the strap uh helps prevent that this is how i hook my hooks man i learned this from a friend john once again kind of like my uh hot shot mentor that's it for securing this load y'all so now we're gonna tarp this load and get moving man it's hot as hell about the tarp man everything you need to tarp a load you want to have your moving blankets i got about 12 of them you're gonna need your tarp of course i've got a 40 ounce lightweight steel tarp 16 by 27 feet and then of course you need your bungees i usually try to have my bungees prepped like if i get to a shipper and i'm having to wait i usually just get my stuff prepped up the main thing you want to do with your blankets is to protect your tarp by wrapping every corner that you can get i don't think i have a big issue back here but a lot of these pieces here i don't know why they even lowered it like this thing but it is what it is we're gonna get started on that y'all get this thing rolling another quick tip is when you put your blankets run a bungee around it to hold it because when you're moving the tarp and things like that the blanket's gonna move i've had that happen to me a couple times i'm all padded up it's a little ridiculous but it is what it is 
So after you do that, I like to just roll my tarp out on top of the load depending on where the load's at. So because it's this type of load, I put it on here and I rolled it that way and just dropped enough that I needed here. And I'm gonna unfold it, secure it, and then I'll show you guys how I, you know, secure that, that, that extra access, that extra excess in the back, and I'll get moving. But I gotta drink some water, man. You gotta stay hydrated, bro. It's like 90 degrees out here. I'm dying. have your tarp up and you got everything folded in uh, you'll even you know I'll even things out as I go but what I do is I start putting a strap on the corners of the load so that when, now when I'm put my bungees one side isn't being pulled too much and the other side's not pull, being pulled too much so I got everything folded in kind of neat it's a little challenge because some parts stick out more than the others right now I'm just gonna start bungeeing my corners and then work my way in y'all so that's it man i think we're all done with getting this uh this load secured and tarped took me a little bit longer than you know i'd like it took me about an hour and a half to do everything but i think we're good man like i said it was a little bit the shape was off so that made things a little bit more difficult y'all let me know what you think man this is what it looks like you know i always put this piece of uh dunnage here to hold my tarp down in the back i used to just put the strap but the strap wouldn't get tight enough to hold it down i see people doing that all the time so i took up on that the only thing we can do now man is while we're driving kind of just within our like next 50 to 100 miles i'll stop and kind of take a look to see how things are going i'll look at my mirrors to see what's flapping around and things like that but for the most part man i think we're we're pretty good all right y'all so we're actually getting a partial man we're getting a vehicle to put on the back so i am going to show you guys real quick how to just uh, how i secure a vehicle on this load on what we did earlier everything looks to be good man nothing's moved nothing's ripped really <laughs> that's what i always usually look out for but everything looks to be intact man so we're holding up pretty good all right y'all here go the load ford f350 with a single rear wheel we already know we're allowed at least four feet overhang i'm definitely within that got no bed on there so i'm gonna get this thing uh I'm just gonna strap the wheels and then we're gonna keep it moving. Just using my last little straps for this load. They're well rated to handle it. Let's put it on four tires and we'll get going.
for securing this truck just for lasso straps and I always make sure my e-brake is down make sure you're not hitting anything in the back I think what they say is I saw this in a video a while back you want to kind of do 10 and 2 o'clock mine's a little off I couldn't really do it because I'll be hitting pieces in the back we're ready to go everything's tight everything is secure and that's all it takes me man sometimes I just do a do a vehicle guys just four lasso straps I got the one with the chains this is how I go down with my hook. I go down and over. Always make sure I have my uh, ratchet locked in. Somehow secure my ex my excess strap. And like I said, just you know, make sure you're not hitting anything in the back. And we are ready to roll. All right, y'all. We about to hit the road. We probably got like two hours left of drive time. I'm gonna get as far as possible. We got about probably nine more hours on the trip, so we got to get moving. Oh, what the hell is leaking? is this bruh got my whole tarp everything is good besides that damn leak alright y'all I'm trying to find a place to stay for the night. Pilot's full, petrol's full. But anyhow, everything's still good on the uh, trailer. Everything's still secured. Uh, I think we did pretty good with both, man. I hope you guys were able to take something away from this video. Just showing you guys a little bit of what I do with securing a load and tarpon. Just to let y'all know, this is not a step-by-step -step video on how to secure a load. This was just a video to kind of give you some of the techniques that I use when I'm securing a load and what's been working for me so you can take your bits and pieces from it look at other videos and kind of put your method together like i said it's not a step-by-step -step video and i just wanted to show you guys how i do things if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel you already know go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace